evening. I'm Jamie Costello alongside of Kelly Sloop. An Anne Arundel County man is behind bars right now after burning trash without a permit. Yeah, but it wasn't the fire so much as the gunfire that accompanied it that landed him in jail. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on what happened tonight. Jeff? Kelly, 62-year-old James Armantrout didn't want firefighters coming onto his land and extinguishing his fire. So it appears he took the law into his own hands to scare them away. Reports of large clouds of smoke brought firefighters to this house on Evergreen Road Friday night where they discovered a 10 by 15 foot illegal burnout back. The 62 year old James Armantrout dismissed whoever complained as liberals and cowards. I don't even know why the neighbors uh, even called the fire department because you know he, he burns all the time. When firefighters prepared to douse the flames, the confrontational owner became violent. He used his pickup truck to try and obstruct the, uh, the efforts of the firefighters from extinguishing the fire. He was clearly upset, went into his house and retrieved a uh, long uh, firearm, discharged several rounds, the witnesses say between 8 and 13 rounds, into the ground. The firefighters pulled back, and a short time later, police arrested Armantrout, who now faces a series of charges including reckless endangerment and firing weapons within 100 yards of his neighbor's homes without permission. A search of the house later revealed Armantrout had no shortage of firepower. Recovered 34 firearms, uh, 5 uh, handguns, 23 uh, rifles, and uh, 6 shotguns uh, from the residents. They also seized more than a thousand rounds of ammunition. But much like the big fire, the fact that Armantrout owned so much firepower did not seem to phase this longtime neighbor. I never seen him with a mouth, but I heard him shooting. But never seen any of them. Nothing reckless. No, uh uh. I thought maybe, you know, he had a target practice something, sit back up in the woods or something. It didn't bother me. Now at this point, it remains unclear why Armand Trout lost it and snapped, although his girlfriend told police they'd gotten into a fight at a restaurant that night, and he did admit to officers that he had consumed about a dozen beers.